Right, good afternoon, everyone. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah, it's all good. Go ahead. Thank you. All right, Max, thank you very much for uh, inviting me again to <clears throat> one of your webinars. It's always a pleasure. And um, you know, thanks to all my colleagues um, that, that spoke before me. Um, I'm assuming that everyone has got a, a pretty good understanding, if not deep understanding, of, of how blockchain could be used um, going forward. And all these examples um, are equally interesting, uh, whether they are um, more on the supply chain management or on the transport um, uh, maritime or, or other, otherwise. And um, it, it's good to see that we have multiplication of these use cases as well. What I wanted to do... Uh, if you can uh, come close to the microphone, we can hear you a little bit far. Okay, well, I, <clears throat> I'm going to try to speak a little bit louder. Is that okay. better? Uh, with a headset, if you have one. Thank you. All right. Um, so what I wanted to do today is I wanted to, um, you know, kind of uh, uh, go one step back from, um, from all those great examples and maybe try to share some idea or some vision of um, what a world uh, would look like for the supply chain management uh, industry, assuming um, blockchain would actually, you know, become uh, a live use case and, and a developed use case across uh, many different processes and many different companies. And um, we call this um, idea of joining and partnering within um, a different ecosystem and, and gathering ecosystem, the idea that we are entering the world or the era of mega consortiums. And the idea of a mega consortium is basically based on the following uh, 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 hypothesis which is that um, if you collaborate better, uh, you naturally have more opportunity to uh, improve and optimize your business. However, uh, collaboration is, uh, is a tricky thing, especially if you've got multiple partners, multiple customers, multiple vendors involved into the process. And what this collaboration requires is basically require trust. Unfortunately, building trust is an expensive uh, value proposition. And what we all do in our um, daily life as businessmen is basically trying to establish the right level of credibility and trust so that we can partner and, and, and do businesses and improve and optimize businesses with as many partners as possible. Now, along the way, you know, some of us are more or less successful, but in this process, but in reality, uh, most of our businesses are still uh, operating with huge uh, inefficiencies. Uh, most of the data we share um, or we create is still very much silo uh, because we believe that data is you know, key and, and in some way a competitive advantage that has only value if it's kept in one location and for one group of people or one group of users. And as a result, adding uh, new partners or collaborating or sharing um, uh, in a different ways adding layer of intermediaries within your ecosystem is actually more difficult, right? It's kind of difficult to share information with, with more people. And what really blockchain uh, provide is basically an, abili an ability for you to um, um, uh, uh, kind of partner better and collaborate better and extend the reach of your own company. And, and I think the idea is really interesting, especially if you um, consider that what you're really trying to do is not necessarily improve the way your entire company works with another entire company, but how processes in between those companies can actually be optimized. And what blockchain provides, it's basically an ability for you to uh, transact and share information in a way that is verifiable, where it can actually maintain privacy, and in a way that it can reduce intermediaries and provide a single source of truth. The single source of truth is actually very interesting attributes of blockchain. Um, many of the use cases that were described, uh, like the Walmart, uh, Walmart use case, is essentially about providing <clears throat> traceability and a single source of truth to the entire chain. And if you think about this particular aspect of the blockchain itself, you're really looking at optimizing one single process across a group of companies and the benefits from a cost perspective or from a time saving uh, perspective 
um, of deploying such process and using blockchain to help deploying this process and, and increasing the size of your ecosystem or the collaboration with your ecosystem is absolutely phenomenal. In fact, you can probably optimize uh, the overall efficiency of a particular process and companies by a landslide, uh, multiple X, uh, what it is today, using blockchain and sharing information um, kind of in a different fashion. So why are consortiums uh, so sexy these days? I mean, first, consortiums are not really new, right? Uh, you have existing consortiums. Some of them I'm sure you deal with every day. Uh, Swift is probably uh, one great example of a consortium that is global and that is operating for 40 years and enabling banks and companies to exchange and transfer information from one country or from one bank account to another. But you have many consortiums today that are extremely helpful in the way information are being shared across large group of companies within particular industry. One of them would be CITA, S-I-T-A, which is uh, probably one of the largest uh, consortium in the world, gathering all airlines and airports and freight forwarding companies around the world using um, uh, air freight and air transport in general. So what's really interesting about consortium is that consortium creates the idea that you expand um, the influence and, and, and possibilities with people you normally just partner with and, and sell to or buy from. And what's really interesting about the uh, notion of consortium is, is what we call the network effect. I mean, the network effect is a known effect for a very, very long time. It basically um, extrapolates the idea that the more participants to a common process or a common goal, the more opportunity to basically leverage the number of connection within uh, this particular entity uh, that we call consortium. So in short, if you're a group of two companies where you have only one connection, if you're a group of eight companies or eight users, you're going to get 28 connections, which are basically as many opportunities for you to improve and, and collaborate. So the idea of consortiums and the idea that consortium could actually help businesses and will probably be the underlying foundation of most uh, blockchain ecosystem being created in the next few years is already a reality today, right? Most of the uh, consortiums here on this slide are probably consortiums that uh, were either mentioned by uh, my colleagues uh, previously on this webinar or, or might be um, different um, uh, consortiums that you might have heard um, you know, prior to uh, this um, uh, webinar taking place. And all of them are around the same idea, which is you're going to try to take a, a particular process, which is a pain point today, either in terms of transparency or traceability. And let's gather the strengths of different groups of companies like Accenture, Kunenegel and APL, or IBM and Merck, or Walmart and the different Walmart partners. <clears throat> and let's try to identify how we could actually do this differently. And using blockchain, um, all of them are using different type of blockchain protocol and consensus, and, and basically finding a way to integrate the ecosystem of those very, very large companies together so that they can collaborate better. So now, when, when you think about these consortiums, that looks very real because they are, in effect, uh, very known brands and, and companies, you should also think that as you build those consortiums, you're going to build, you're going to need to technically um, kind of um, uh, assemble and monitor and, and manage and orchestrate um, the technical aspect of this consortium. Deploying a blockchain um, is not exactly a simple matter. It requires to be done professionally. And some of the uh, speakers that spoke before me <clears throat> can probably help doing this. But it also requires to be managed and to be orchestrated in a way that the different partners of the consortium can actually have their decentralized network uh, to be operating efficiently. So what, what I wanted to show you very, very briefly before I end my, um, uh, before I end my presentation today is basically an example of how uh, the buildup of these uh, particular consortium could be um, uh, organized from a technical standpoint. So let me um, access my screen here and log into one of uh, the management console um, of 
the platform uh, that we are building just so that you understand from a technical standpoint how this would work. So let me just log in to uh, Chainstack. It will take uh, just a couple of minutes. I hope everyone can see my screen. And just log in to what we call our control panel. And basically this control panel, you could look at it as a repository of different processes or different uh, blockchain uh, trial or production use cases that would be running within a particular environment. So here, for instance, you're going to see um, some uh, patient medical data exchange uh, testing and, and some other uh, supply chain uh, mega consortium running. And what I wanted to show you is basically within each network, you can actually see um, different type of um, uh, uh, network infrastructure. And uh, so in this case, um, uh, showing you that these networks are actually not in operation and, uh, and the nodes being not active. In the same way, uh, a particular um, a network, a regular network, centralized network will actually be operated. So let, let me go and, and just show you some of the options that I think are, are really interesting. In this particular example, I've got a suite of networks that are being run, and uh, you can actually look at each of the nodes of this decentralized network for this particular consortium to be operating. Now, this particular node, which is my node number one, has a particular address and credential that we use to, to actually uh, deploy and build uh, smart contracts and decentralized services. It also gives you um, a summary of what the node is all about from a blockchain protocol. So this is a multi-chain node. Multi-chain is one of the uh, blockchain protocol that most enterprise or many enterprise are using. And this particular node is deployed in, in Google Cloud Platform. So now let me um, briefly show you how adding a node would work so that you can understand how the buildup of this consortium would actually take place in reality, because all this needs to be run and operated in a proper way. So here I would set up my node number two, and I'm doing this live uh, for my multi-chain network. And here I would choose whether I want to deploy this node in a particular cloud or on-premise. And as I choose cloud, I can actually choose a different kind of uh, hyperscaler uh, provider that we work with today, uh, namely AWS and Google and Microsoft Azure and uh, AliCloud and DigitalOcean. And as I choose my provider, I can actually choose part of the world where I will want to run my um, uh, my node and then I simply press add my node here and what this is going to do is basically enable you to deploy and provision this particular node for this particular process among this particular consortium. So the networks um, will take a few minutes. It's going to show a, a failing status during uh, a minute and then it will actually be um, uh, activated and available for you to run. So I know this is a little bit um, technical. Um, I still wanted to show you how this consortium would actually be built up from a technical standpoint. And before coming back to uh, my presentation and showing you uh, my last slide, uh, Max, I'm not sure how I can uh, go back to my screen. All right, very good, thank you. Um, so I, I wanted to tell you that basically mega consortium are probably what uh, the world is going to look like uh, in the next few years. And those consortium will be assembled by industry, uh, but also by uh, interest and, and by basically uh, problem solving ability of particular processes or particular parts of, of a specific industry that is trying to improve collaboration across a large number of partners and sub partners within the ecosystem. So mega consortiums are going to be uh, truly interesting um, um, uh, to track and, and, and to witness um, the construction in the next few years. And what we hope to do at Chainstack, it's basically enabling them to grow and to build um, uh, manage and deploy uh, those networks in the best way possible so that it makes it easy or we make it easy for our partner and for our customer to basically build this consortium and collaborate better and optimize their business. That's what I wanted to share with you. I think uh, I'm right on the 12 minutes mark, Max, so I hope everything is, is great and thank you very much for your attention.